Hooray! Wibbly wobbly arms. Hello! So the sun is shining. I'm sure there are birds out there somewhere tweeting away happily. And I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to do a video. As the title of the video suggests, this is going to be a haul, but kind of a everything, lots of stuffage type haul because rather than kind of splitting it up into lots of different ones, I figured let's just get it all done in one go. This is my payday haul, as it were, from the last couple of paydays, I think, I've kind of mushed them all together. I hope you don't mind me sharing this stuff with you. I've mentioned before my skin, my skin kind of hates me and is a bit evil, so I like to punish it by shoving stuff like this on it. This is the Murad Blemish Control Starter Kit. Apparently you've got enough for 30 days in here, but it always depends on how heavy handed you are. So you'll get a number one, two twos, and a three. So generally in terms, obviously, you guys know, that's usually a cleanse, toner, and a moisturizer. Well, it's not so much a toner, um, that's like a gel. And then you've got this one, which is one of those kind of on the spot, kill it in a couple of days type serums. That's the size. They are teeny, teeny, this seems to be padding in the box. They are teeny teeny tiny. This is what you end up getting. Um, as you can see, that's number two. Um, number one is missing, I think it's under my bathroom. That's another number two. And um, that's moisturiser. I've been using them for a couple of days and I will say that my skin has had an interesting reaction to them. It's gone, well first of all it went really red, it went really lumpy and now it's gone kind of dry. Um, so I've kind of held off using the first two steps and I'm just using the moisturiser at the moment because yeah it's a bit icky but I don't know if that's it working or as I suspect it's an allergic reaction so I kind of feel like I should keep going just to see what happens and if my skin starts to melt off then I'll know that I should really stop now on to more fun stuff but I kind of needed some summery shoes because all my shoes are pretty wintry um, I get most of my everyday work shoes from New Look because they are pretty good. They do loads of styles, they're all pretty fashionable. They're relatively durable considering the price and the price is so reasonable. Like, neither of these pairs of shoes were over 20 quid. They might not have even been over 15 quid. So the first pair are these. Um, I've shown you shoes before. I have got massive feet so that's why they are ginormous. They were only... $12.99, yes. And the next pair I bought were these. Um, I do like this colour tan. I do think it, weirdly, I think it looks really nice with black. Like for example, I would quite happily wear it with this outfit. I know a lot of people would be like, ew. But I don't know, I just really like the colour combination of this kind of tan brown and black and white and just black. It makes me happy. I think we're only a couple of pounds more than those ones. But then when I was buying these at the counter, because they're bastards, they understand how weak wills we are. They had some really cute socks. And they had these. I just thought they're really cute colour. So problem is, um, yeah, because they tend to do like one size. One size never really includes a size eight, so I kinda have to go Whoop! otherwise they don't fit. And then the unicorn obsession continues. Yeah, unicorn socks. And the unicorn is a little demented and also pink, but Unfortunately, it kind of goes with the territory, so I'm kind of accepting of that fact. And they were only $1.99. This is why New Look is amazing. Oh, oh hey fever, get out of my throat! Mm. So the first thing I bought from Topshop is a necklace. Now, a necklace is one of those bits of jewelry that I do kind of change on a regular basis. But, um, so yeah, this is the first piece that I bought. I just thought this looks so... Gorgeous. Now I will probably wear this in winter with a collared shirt because shirts are my thing. Because that really gives you a good example of what this is going to look like on. It's exactly how it's going to look when I'm wearing it. <laughs> so I don't wear jewelry often. Often, I have this thing about um, crop tops. Well, these crop tops are kind of cover half of your. So I bought this one. Um, it's one of those really nice loose fitting ones. Really 90s. I'm loving this 90s revival at the moment. With tie dye, you've got the tassels. And you've got the nice almost like racer back, which I do love for that back style. And then last kind of clothing-y type thing. Oh my god, I was so happy I found these. Shoe, which is a shoe shop in the UK, spelled S-C-H-U-H, just to be annoying. They have exclusives and they had this amazing pair of brogues, which were just gorgeous. I knew I'd never be able to get them because they'd sell out of my size immediately. So I'm like, fine, it wasn't meant to be. Well, lo and behold, I just happened to be a browsing because Lionfish have got all their new stuff out. And I managed to find them on eBay in my size. 
Oh my god. They were a dance like cheaper. Like these were £27. Which a pair of iron fish shoes. Stop standing on my tiptoes. Iron fish shoes is a bit of a bargain. Let me first look at the box to find out what they are called. These are the She Sells Oxford Flats. And they look a little something like this. BAM! <laughs> and the first thing my mum said when she saw them was they look like tap shoes. I was like, yeah, thank you. But yeah, there we go. And they've got the cut out at the side. And uh, they're also a little, little bit of anchor on the bottom. <laughs> they're so cute. Twa! Shoes. This is going to be another horribly long video. One day I'll make a video that's under five minutes and the world will end. I picked up a couple of bits in the sale from a shop called Accessorize, which is good if you like accessories because all they sell. The first thing I bought was this pretty scarf. I mean, look at the colours. It's just so gorgeous. I don't know yet how I'm going to wear it. I may just wear it like this. I think I'm just going to put it on my bag. I like wearing having scarves on my bag. But this was £25, right? That is how much I paid for it. Two quid! Now you might be thinking, okay, yeah, but two quid for something that's busted. Not much point. This is the necklace, and it is, it is really pretty, to be fair. I wouldn't mind wearing this, like, normally, but what I will do is I will literally just take out all of the stones. I need to kind of bend them a bit, and the stones most of the time will just pop out, and then I will probably use them in some sort of customization project. And like I said, if I wanted to, I could fix that quite easily. What I'm going to, I'm going to break it and wreck it and dip it apart. Nah. Da! My obsession seems to be growing recently. Like literally now I see anything with a unicorn and I have to buy it. It's just a little keyring, keychain, whatever you want to call it. But I couldn't resist. The woman at the counter just kind of looked at me like, are you a child? And I'm like, yes, yes I am. I'm afraid I've still got quite a bit to go through. But this will interest any Palmer Glow crafters who may be watching. Hi! First thing I bought this month is some mould maker. And it's completely simple to use. You literally mix two equal parts of the two colours, you stick in the thing you want to make a mould of, leave it to dry and bash, 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 you have a mould. Next up in the crafty type of stuff, oops, I'm mad at that pulling up. The next thing is actually inspired by X Factory First, who is an amazing crafter on YouTube. Oh, her cupcakes are just adorable. I'm sure if you're a crafter, you know who she is anyway. If you're not, just go have a look. She sells stuff on Etsy. She uses gold findings and it just looks really classy and I wanted to have a go. So I bought off of eBay various sizes of eye pins, which I think is really good. Maybe. I also bought some more clear varnish and um, this is the gloss varnish this is by craft and then the last things are fun <laughs> so first off I got these which I've never tried before but I'll have a go these are mica powders oh that colour I can't wait to use that blue you can use these in place or as well as um, chalk powders um, before you bake your charms it makes them all pretty and glittery and shiny I'm pretty sure most people who internet shop will have heard of a website called light the box they sell basically everything and they sell it pretty cheap so they have a really 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 amazing and quite immense collection of nail art supplies I won't be using any of what I've bought at home for my nails but they are brilliant to use for charms it's like a malacca first thing then I will show you all is I, I have finally got polymer clay canes! Oh! I mean, there's no more having to try and make my own awful orange and lemon slices. I'm pretty sure they're about three pounds for that many. So this is just generally fruit canes. I figured that was a good start. Um, but you can see there are absolutely tons. You also have to slice and put on your nails, but I will slice and put on my charms. Yes. Next things I bought come in really handy little pots like this. So the first things I have, I'll be honest, I thought I was getting more than this, um, so I'm slightly disappointed. No, I dropped it. So disappointed. Third on the floor. Um, a little box of different size pearl halves. Here they go from being really quite massive to really stupidly tiny. So I'm going to sneeze and they're going to go everywhere. And then I also bought in a similar vein. Now these ones you get a lot more of. Um, I bought these, which are obviously little tiny rhinestones, and as you can see, they have them in pretty much. Or if my camera wasn't being a turd, stop being a turd, camera. And I've got all kinds of colours. 
Okay, I've got two purples, two pinks, two blues, two greens. I've got red, I've got yellow, black, and a silver. So again, that was only like a few pounds. And then the last thing is along the similar veins to those. And again, these were so cheap. I got these, which are basically lots and lots and lots and lots of little tiny bottles of different sizes and shapes. So I've got rhinestones and you've got um, little sequin type things in there. I've got little micro beads as well. So I have no idea what that one is. And not only that, but then once you've used them all up, you get these really cute dinky bottles, which you know you could quite easily use for making charms because they're so tiny, they'd be really nice as like a little little charm on a necklace or something. So, so that's it, she says after five hours worth of rambling and three tons worth of stuff. But I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you may have discovered some stuff. As always, I will try and link various shizzes down below. I hope everyone's having a fantastic summer and a fantastic day. See you later, Pippers. I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>